Hello everybody, we're going to match drill the bottom and side skins to the bulkheads. We begin by attaching the bulkhead to the bottle skin and um, we need to make a center line on the J channels. This way we can drill all the holes exactly through center of the J channels. The J channels hold the skin uh, on the places where there's no bulkhead. Okay, we're going to devinyl the side skins. And we're going to attach the side skins. First to the bulkheads, because you cannot attach it yet to the J channels, since there are no holes in there. I made a mistake of clickoing too much because then I had to declicko it again, and clicko it again, or whatever it's called. So that wasn't handy, but okay. Now the middle J channels or stringers, they're also called stringers. Again, center lining it so we can use it as a drill. Example, okay, de bluing the other part. Okay, the bottom. You have to be careful because the um, yeah, you cannot set it on the clicos. However, you have to be careful that you don't bend the clicos with the uh, wooden support. The main bulkhead on the on the front there, that one should not be uh, drilled or riveted or whatever. So you have to be careful there because you do that later with the center part. Okay, now the previously um, as assembled tail part, which was harder. So the tail part is where the um, where the empennage will be installed. As you can see I removed the um, the tail wheel spring. And I'm just assembling, yeah, clicking all the um, the skins in order to match drill them. Once you've done that, you have to yeah, get all the clickers out again, so we can prime the, the skins. So I was trying to fit the uh, stringers in there, so I sometimes I get them out to uh, trim little parts of it. So they fit exactly. So that's about it. So now we can start drilling. From a little different angle. So you can see it better. I'm um, putting some tape on things that I shouldn't drill, that I don't ex accidentally drill them. 
So here I'm uh, drilling the stringers on the uh, center points with the bulkhead. And now I can drill every few holes, put clicos in there, and then I can drill the rest. I drill with a little smaller, hole, uh, smaller drill. Um, this is because then I can match drill them with the actual uh, fence drill. I do that because the, uh, the, the let's say the original drills, I want to not use them for drilling through aluminum, but only to match drill. The good part of this new table is that I can actually uh, use different heights, so that's nice. Okay, now we're drilling all the all the other holes for the bottom stringer, the bottom J channel. And now I can do all the in holes in between. As you can see, it goes it goes very fast. Okay, now I've got all both sides, all the clickers in there, and now I have the official drill, so the uh, exact number 40 drill, and now I do all the match drilling, which also goes very fast. But then you have to re-clicko everything because the holes that you that are clickered now, yeah, you have to drill them too, so you have to set all the clickos uh, one hole. And drill again. Right, I also did the other side, but I didn't film it because it's just the same. Removing Clicos. So I can disassemble everything again. It's a little disappointing after one long day of work that you actually end up with almost the same that you started with. But okay, you at least know it's a match drill now. Okay, and then... Um, Next session I prime all the skins, which again I'm not going to show because priming is not uh, really nice to, to film. And then we can start dimpling and assembling the tail con. Okay, continuing building my pie in the sky.